Yeah, right. Hold on, let's cause some outrage. Yeah, I made sure to tell everyone. Hi. Oh, yeah, our, 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 um, <laughs> let's get people up in arms. Our Hi. frenetic disarray Hi. back here. It's, what's wrong with that? Um, you let's, know, let's it's have like, a picture of Trump and Colin Kaepernick up here and really cause some outrage on some crooked frames. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that would. Uh, <laughs> that, how would that go in anybody's house? If you went into somebody's house and they actually had a, a framed... I mean, if they had Colin Kaepernick, you'd be like, yeah, are you related to him? But no. I mean, like... Uh, He's I an mean, American superhero now. I, well, I, I wouldn't go... I don't he know if he deserves a holiday which, yet. Um, JFK. I think, I, I, I think he's got a few... But he, I thought he was very noble with his stand he took. Um, go ahead and He feel took free it to before talk anybody while else. I talk. But and now, I mean, now people are finally backing him. No, I think I think people should have backed him from the start. I, I, I mean, I, I absolutely. Uh, Why I think, are we both arguing over each with each other over the exact same thing? We're well, on the same page. Welcome to domestic disputes, by the way. Um, but um, the uh, we will argue about having the same. We have the same point of view on this. Oh, yeah, uh, the fan thing is on that twist. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just turn it on. There you go. Uh, yeah, yeah, make it nice and ball sweaty in here. All right. Um, <laughs> hi, hey, hoes. All right, well, that's a way to uh, open a show. All right. Um, the, uh, okay, careful. Um, the, uh, yeah, the, uh, Colin, Kev- I think people are generally, there's too much self preservation instinct anymore with everybody, and, and myself included. I don't think I'm, I'm, uh, uh, not guilty of that in it, you know, at any time, really. It's, it's because everybody's too afraid basically to take any sort of stand or exercise what's supposed to be our right to free speech and whatever the, the, the Bill of Rights, all of them are. I mean, you know, it, it's it, everybody's afraid to do it because they don't want, they basically don't want to awake the bear. And have the bear show up <laughs> with a fucking SWAT team of bears in their in their living room. So, I, yeah. One I mean, of my favorite quotes, sayings, memes, whatever, is just the the thought. Oh no! What's wrong? Nothing. He did nothing. Nothing happened. We're just. It's a, one of those. We thought. Um. <clears throat> we'll be right back with more tantrum. Um. Right after this. What's wrong, sweetheart? This is this is the beauty of live streaming. See, because you know, if we if we if we did this in a normal situation, we'd, we'd cut this out. But hey, why not just have a kid wailing in uh, the the podcast? I mean, I think uh, you know, and I hate to make fun of her too, because I really do feel bad for her because she's my my daughter, and I want to take care of her. But I also I have to be this guy. You know, with the guy with the uh, who's now not even in the center with the microphone anymore. I, I'm now. Um, I, I think I'm, our co-host I've left. So, you can I've suddenly over. been brushed off to the side. <laughs> um, yeah, but that one was sound checked for her, so I don't want to. Um, but you know, it, it's just uh, taking a stand, having an opinion, is becoming less and less legal, and. Um, not on paper, just uh, in reality. Barney, do not knock shit over. You were supposed to lock them away. I was going. To, you said he he decided otherwise. Oh, what I'm was so, I going to? Yeah, what was like I going to do? The pro- he's not the problem. What was I going to do? He is the problem. He's almost always the problem. Uh, almost, <laughs> as I say. I mean, look. I admit that my dog Barney is bad, but. He's the calmest one of the three we got. I mean, he is. Even even this skittish little kitten dog that we have is uh, uh, she barks a lot. And Barney's basically like he's like the the, the reconnaissance or whatever. Like he go he'll he'll throw the first cannonball bark, you know, like the big one, Burr! and then just set off the machine gun that is Scoby, and it's like. And just nonstop for the next five minutes over. Scoba didn't even know what, what he's backing up. He just knows he's backing up a bark. <laughs> and it's like, oh, we're barking? <laughs> and it's, hi. Hi. Mm. Hi, son. I support okay. you. I stand with Scoby. I 
you get on my fucking nerves, son, but I love you. Um, <laughs> you can't please everybody. I think that's what we were getting at. <laughs> no, you can't. Um, but you, you it, with the um, today, earlier today, and uh, the uh, NFL players. Um, <laughs> what are you doing? Trying not to be naked on camera. What do you mean? What am I doing? I always thought your your dream was the exact <laughs> opposite. I'm sorry. My bad, yo. <laughs> what the fuck? I. Uh, I, I, like, I, why, why do why do you assume that I know when you just? Why like, else uh, would I be diving under the couch? Because to you don't want to be seen with me. I don't know. Well, you know. Yeah, that too. Yeah. See, there you go. Phone, See, there's you. another thing that you could have been doing <laughs> besides uh, uh, showing some sort of. Uh, uh, I'm modesty. Modesty I'm is the word I was looking for. I know. I'll help you find your. Oh, words, thank kid. you. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm here You're for. You're usually the thesaurus around the house. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I said thesaurus. Um, the, uh... Yeah, that's yours. Hey, you got a new tattoo. What's, who's that? Minnie. Is it Minnie? Mm-hmm. I like, did you get a big Minnie this, this past week? Mm-hmm. Yeah, big. Is, what color is she? Pink. Yeah, she's pink. Is she it's big humongous. or is she humongous? We'll wait. Is she humongous? Is she big? Oh, she's big. big. I thought she was humongous. Well, I look stupid then. She's big. She's big. Don't act cool. All right. All of a sudden, you're cool. Uh, she, she's big. All right. I mean, it's, it's not like it's not an I've seen the bigger. Okay. I've seen I've seen the six foot mini at, at Disney. All right. I mean, I mean, you didn't get me her, did you, Dad? So you know what? You know she's, she's large. Right. She's not she's in big. charge. She's big. I mean, whatever. Hi. Hi. It's Shama Bell. Uh-huh. Speaking of Madden's uh, superheroes, like Minnie Mouse, I know we've talked about how her favorite movie is Howard the Duck. Yeah. Well, yeah. the best day ever happened. That was not my, sure, that's my fault. <laughs> not sure if Madden <laughs> understands that the best day ever happened, but let me set up the scene. Okay. So, <laughs> everybody ready? Can I give background uh, on why she likes it first? No, 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 I, no, I, I won't. I don't want to take. Momentum. I, I was really chugging along there. No, you weren't. Um, the, uh, <laughs> the it, it, I I loved that movie when I was ten because I was into comic books and he was a comic book hero. So she was into duck stuff, like any the rubber duckies, any Every duck related. Yeah, is. everything duck. Yeah, ducks are funny. I mean, they are. So it's just like she was into ducks. So I was like, oh, I have Howard the Duck on DVD, which. I got before it was even available in the U.S., which I am very embarrassed to say I paid about 80 bucks for the uh, <laughs> Howard the Duck DVD, which is about four now. Um, but it's, uh, yeah. Um, but I, I, I bought it uh, a long time ago, and I, I, you know, I thought, you know what? I bet she would love Howard the Duck, and I didn't realize how fucking much she would love Howard the Duck because she, <laughs> e- I mean, every day. day. If she sees me pull out any device, that it, like iPad, phone, Mac, whatever. Sorry for all the uh, ads for Apple, but, you know, I, I'm Apple's bitch. Uh, but, uh, yeah, if I pull out any device, she's like, I want to watch Duck Man, Duck Man, Duck Man. And, yeah, so... You both even have Howard the Duck t-shirts. We do. That you wear we do. regularly. We do. Didn't I wear it on here once? I think I did. Yeah. 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 So check back uh, <laughs> an episode ago or so. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So we're, we, we're, we're very much into Duck, duck Man around man here. We're Duck Man family. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So now. So she and I go to Sherman Oaks Gallery. I haven't been there in years. Uh, we go on a play date. Afterwards, I'm like too lazy to drive all the way up to Calabasas to eat. So I'm like, man, you and I are just going to eat, eat here at P.F. Chang's. Just like the, it was the most random place, the most random time. Like it, it's just not our regular yeah. routine. No, like, you it was asked so, me like, if out I, of, I think you 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 didn't out of text the norm. me and see if I wanted to eat and if I didn't want to, you were just because I think I was writing or something. Yeah. So yeah. Matt and I go by ourselves to P.F. Chang's, random as hell. So we're in a booth, and of course we're in like the same size. 
like same side booth. I'm a horrible storyteller. Everybody knows this. <laughs> yeah, but random, like PF Chang. Other people go to PF Chang. I, I mean, know, but unfortunately, we don't. like it's not like our normal place. Like, oh, we'd normally run into her there. Like, on behalf just, of the sewers, we're all sorry, but uh, yeah, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> so we're in a booth, and I hear two women in the booth behind us, and one says to the one like backed up to us, "Oh my gosh, you have to turn around. You, there's the most beautiful, cutest little girl right behind us." So Madden's playing peekaboo with these people, and I'm just like still ignoring them because I didn't want to like bother their dinner. And I look behind, and they're like they're putting on glasses, going, "Oh, we're twins!" Blah, blah, blah. And oh, Lee, she's absolutely beautiful. And I turn, and it's fucking Beverly from Howard the Duck, but 30 years later. They so they, they just uh, they, they, Howard the Duck's love interest was his Leah girlfriend Thompson. from Cherry Bomb. Leah Thompson, yeah, from she she actually toured with that band. She was also Look in like on Dennis the Menace and Back to the Future. Like she's had this really great career, and we yeah. probably picked out the worst project she's ever worked on. Yeah. And yeah, I turn around, yeah. I'm like, and I'm like fumbling to find Madden's phone. She's got her little phone with her puppy cover on it, and I'm like pulling it up. I'm like, this is my two year old's phone. She has one movie on it. It's Howard the Duck, and like I'm, it's, it's an iPod. But go ahead. I'm this nervous idiot. I'm like twitching and sweating, and Leah falls out. She's like, "Oh my gosh, you like Howard the Duck?" And Madden's still not like I can see it's not computing. Like she's not getting that this is Beverly thirty years later, and so Leah stands up and in the middle of P.F. Chang's starts singing to Madden, "Howard the Duck," and like I'm crying, sweating convulsing and Madden's still like just staying in my arms and Lee's like do you want a picture and I'm like and so I'm like thinking little did Leah of, know like, we Lee never Madden. We, we we rarely actually get to that part of the movie um <laughs> because it's the last it's the ending uh which is is uh you know where where they're doing an, a concert and Howard is somehow now their manager even though he's a duck and uh, he's uh, and Tim Robbins is their roadie, even though he was a scientist a little bit before that. <laughs> and he's just decided to get a job as a fucking roadie. And and uh, anyway, we never get to the ending because it's like there's too much intense, like alien stuff. That guy who was a pedophile was uh, uh, from Ferris Bueller's. That guy who was like uh, um, he plays the dark overlord of the universe so it's like oh. i never want to her to see all that stuff so we usually just skip back to the beginning you know to where the best part is which is the black guy hanging out the back of the bus in cleveland going that's a duck that's a duck man like as if <laughs> as if there was some argument going on in the bus like what he was he has a bill and he has he has he has, he has uh, webbed feet he is yes he's a his feathers He's a duck. We know. Okay, we get it. And there was there's somehow this guy thought he he figured out like like the the solution to relativity or something. Like that's a duck, man. That was hilarious. I don't know who that guy is, where he is now, but thank you so much. I fucking love that line. Anyway. <laughs> telling her i'm like her favorite line is that's a duck that's a duck man and space rabies and i'm just like this bubbling idiot (laughs) and she's looking at me like okay and she's like so you want a picture and i'm like yeah and i'm like trying to like pass madden off to her because i was just assuming that i would take the picture and her and her friend are looking at each other like i'm the dumbest person in the world and she's like hand her your phone i'm like Got it. Thank you. <laughs> we take pictures and like Madden still doesn't get it. But now she looks back on that picture and like, oh, hey, like she's starting to connect it now that that's Duckman's girlfriend. And she had the best day of her life and didn't even realize yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. She was a little bit caught off guard, which, you know, meeting your heroes is never. <laughs> it's just, I, I just don't. I, I, I think we talked about it on uh, um, something else. We talked about it on Twitch. Did we? OK, yeah. Uh, just the idea of meeting your hair it's just it's usually it's a letdown Disappointing, you know I mean, people it, suck in yeah I mean it, it's like you, you know I like it, Lee it, did. it when she was it, so gracious and sweet and like gave us a personal concert in BF Chang's like yeah, it was amazing for Madden it was just like I don't really and know myself. who she because yeah it's like I Madden thought that movie was made last week and uh, <laughs> you know it's like uh, or she probably doesn't even think it's a movie. She probably thinks I just have those people in my laptop. <laughs> um, so that's what I used to think about movies. Is like you know we'd be waiting uh, for a movie to start, and everything. I always thought you know they gotta wait till the the actors get here. And uh, like I literally was that stupid that I thought there were real actors behind the screen. 
um, was that a show it. like in the eighties or nineties? Because I remember it as a kid. Like there, the the show premise was that there are little people in the TV. Might have been. I don't know. I I. And you put, I would have turned to something else. That? You put like a coin or something in, and like it would start. It would like they would basically. I remember the coin like going down this whole like pinball thing, and then it. They were like, "All right, we gotta get ready," and then they like start their performance. Wasn't that was what Nickelodeons were? I mean, other than they had real people. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody on board with this? <laughs> yeah. I just remember a coin going in and then like scrambling to get ready and then putting on a performance like in a screen. Right, right. Well, I don't know. I, yeah, <laughs> I, I uh, uh, it, anyway. Um, it, it, did you see that, uh, anything that, that movie coming up? Uh, uh, downsizing? Downsized? No. So Alexander Payne. Did you see? It? Like, it, it's getting like kind of, I don't know if it's too long or whatever, but it's gotten like reviews that are shaky with critics but it looks like such a great idea you know where what basically it it's like the premise is it's Matt Damon and his wife they play like a um, you know like a you know just an average middle class couple um, and they their scientists have figured out a way to basically preserve the planet for longer where they shrink people down to this size and they enter this whole you know the the world just becomes so uh, attainable everything is because like they're saving their their the money that they have saved in the bank or anything like that is like it stretches so much further like if they have like 50 grand in the bank it it, it stretches to like like 12 million if if you're if you're this size right. i guess yeah so it's uh it, it's just i think it's a cool concept i think maybe they they went aren't there people who used to think it? that like this world used to be like conquered by by well, giants. yeah, by giants, yeah. And yeah, so, yeah, like, right. now we've downsized to this, and now we're going to downsize again? Is that yeah, the there's 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 people... See, it's hard to know what's uh, real and not, you know, but, I mean, there, there's, there's you know, yeah, people seem to be... Hey, 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 be nice. Um, people used to... There, there's people who say claim to have found fossils and stuff like that with, of giant people, but I don't know how oh. giant, really, they, they were, were they, you know... Were they seven and a half feet, or were they, you know, or were you know, were they, were they, were they King Kong? You know, I mean, I don't know. Um, but uh, you know, I'm always willing to listen to any crackpot theories. So <laughs> please, yeah, it's always entertaining. Um, I, I, well, I mean, the most crackpots are the ones that are usually the official story. Um, but I'm not going to go any further on that because <laughs> it's self preservation, folks. Um, <laughs> But uh, you know, um, microphone. Uh, you know, back to the 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 thing we started with too. The the NFL players, hi. You know, sort of it's Jim Burrow. Know, sort of stand against the. Uh, hi. Um, it's Jim. Oh no! I, I'll stop. Or do you just want to back me up like Flavor Flav? Huh? Anyway, so the NFL players, they took a stand today uh, during the national anthem. And they banded together, you know, because of, uh, I guess, Trump's comments, which, you know, I, the thing is, is I look at it like it, people, I think Trump and the things that he says or tweets or whatever are now making plain for people what really has existed for a very, very long time, which is the, the, uh, the, yeah, the, the, you know, I I don't I, I think there's been a lot wrong, you know, with our system and everything for a long time. And I think people just have been blind to it because it's you know I think people want to believe the best, and that ain't there. And I feel somewhat. I mean, I have to feel at one, at some point, you know, in your life, you do have to come along and say, this is my responsibility because. You know, I have, I have her. We have, we have to, we have to give her this world, and at some point, you know, we, you gotta, you gotta account for how it is, and it's like, you know, she's, she can't blame, you know, your great, 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 great grandfather. She blames us. I mean, she's, I mean, or I mean, she would have to. I mean, because, 
that's, you know, we, we were, it was on our watch, you know, and it was on our parents' watch, and it was on their parents' watch. But at some point, somebody's got to, you know, I think the first step with anything is recognizing what's wrong. So, um, anyway, uh, hey, hey, it's Krusty <laughs> the Clown. Um, the, uh, I, yeah, it's just, that's my soapboxery for, uh, for today, um, or at least for this for this half hour, uh, and what's our what, what's our next thing to get into? Or are we gonna stay on? Are you just gonna let me sit in this? Hi. Are you just gonna, <laughs> gonna let me sit in the fucking fire I started with? Uh, <laughs> Hi, Maddie. No, I, yeah, yeah. Um, Mark Ellis yeah, yeah. tweeted something oh, about yeah. how he one of the many reasons he doesn't like the president is because he's allowed, like he's kind of allowed or accepted sexual offenders to come out and say, like, you know, whatever they want to say. And it's not only sexual, but it's, like, racists and, and idiots and everybody just has this ability to say whatever the hell they want to say now. And it's just... Yeah. It's, like, yeah. I've seen so much, like, he's made He's made terrible last... a lot more acceptable. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Belligerence. Which, you know, that goes back to that woman throwing a glass at me uh, when I was on stage. Uh, you know... That sort of, but it, that's been coming since before he became president. I still will say, but I think it it, it is becoming like you said. It, it's like he's he's almost like the the um, you know, he's setting the example, which is a bad example. You know, it's like it's setting an example to say, hey, be an asshole, and you could become president. I mean, really. And the thing is, is. He's not the first one in that position, or not even by far not the worst one to occupy that position. Um, he just is. Seems is like it to me. He, I know, because he's very vocal about it. But trust me, if you knew more about George Bush, <laughs> you'd think differently. Um, but uh, they uh, and they paraded that dude out during the, before the Super Bowl last year. I mean, we're we're backwards, man. I mean, we're people just if they really look into shit. I don't know. Don't look into this podcast because I'm gonna get in trouble. So, <laughs> but yeah, Do you feel that way now that you just turned forty two on Thursday. Thursday was your birthday. Yeah, Friday. Yeah. Saturday. It doesn't matter. Nobody Days cares. No, it's Friday. I think. Yeah. Um. Did you feel this way last year? Did you feel this way ten years ago? No, that's just it. It's like I, you know, I've become the killjoy that I am uh, only in recent years, and I, because I really we met how many years ago? Seven. Seven years. Yeah, seven you years. were still that obliviously. I was dumb happy to kid. be oblivious. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was the one that you talk about in Me Cap, who doesn't watch the news, doesn't care about what the president right. said, and watches SpongeBob. None of it matters. Yeah, none of it matters because it doesn't apply to me. Because I, I only worry about my little, you know, my life and my little place in the world and what what affects me and what bothers me. And I'm just very, you know, um, self centered. And I'm not saying that's changed. It's just, a lot of people will think that you've changed not by age, but because you've lived in LA too long. Oh yeah, those. I'm. I'm sorry. That's. That's not. First of all, I. I've become. Um. I was never. You know, I was never somebody who would. Uh, um. You'd consider a conservative, um, by any means. Uh. And I was somebody who just, you know, I always, I've always been one who, I, I've always believed in I, I, basic human decency. Whatever party that applies to, whatever you want to call it, just, just don't be an asshole. Like, don't be a fucking, don't be, don't be, don't hurt other people. Don't, um, um, don't, don't, don't cheat. You know, don't don't uh, uh, lie. Don't you know? Just the basic things that basic that that if if basic everybody would do, it's things. just yeah. It's just like we we'd all get along so much better if it wasn't. You know, be considerate. Be just 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 a little bit considerate of because just recognize like it's just it's not really that hard. It's not that complicated to have this point of view. And I'm not. I've never. I've never not felt this way. I've never 
felt like I've never I've never been against any sort of equal rights. I'm not, I've been childish about things. I've I've made homophobic jokes that I didn't realize were homophobic because I've never had a problem with anybody. Um, because I think you should be able to, you know, like I said, you don't hurt anybody. Live your life, dude. Fucking, uh, you know, because we only. I love, we what only did you so say long. on Chelsea lately about salad? Right. Well, there was that guy. It was some preacher, pastor, or something like that. He was like uh, um, launching some campaign again. It was an evangelist or something like against um, against homosexuality, and it was in gay marriage. And it's like, why? Like, why does it bother you that much? Like, you know, I mean, you know, it's like I hate when those people say I don't. Do you need my nose again? <laughs> I hate when people say they don't agree with 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 somebody's sexuality. It's like it's not up for fucking discussion. Like nobody's nobody's like like putting it on the table for you to go. All right, so is any does anybody do? Are we all cool with me fucking this dude? No, it's not. It's not up. It doesn't matter to you. It doesn't affect you. It's not your. It's not in your world. It's not. It's not. It, it it's just it should be nothing. There should be any of any concern to you, unless it hurts you or somebody you care about. Then you then you worry about it. But it's like if, if something is 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 done by a consenting adult and all that, all that shit. I don't need to, to rehash all this. I mean, but I love your line though. Sense. It was. But what I said on there was that like any the the, the, the people who campaign so hard against gay marriage or homosexuality or anything like that. They've got some sort of deep-seated issue, like because I think it had come out that that guy had like a gay hooker or something like that with him. Um, it wasn't Ted Haggard; it was somebody like that. But it was, it was it, uh, but it was like, you know, I said, look, I, I don't, I mean, I, I don't, I don't like salad, you know, but I don't, I don't, I don't campaign, you know, I don't, I don't go out and rail against lettuce. You know, it's like, I don't, I don't, I don't have any, it's like other people like salad. Fine. Eat it. I just don't. Okay. Like when they say super salad, I say, what's your soup? And if it sucks, then it's like, I'm going to do fries. But I mean, I don't eat, I don't like salad. I can't imagine how somebody does like salad. She likes salad. I think it's disgusting. I think it looks like you're eating yard waste, but, but I think it's fine that you do eat. It's, I go dabble ahead. in salad. Have okay? some fucking salad, man. I like to go man. back and forth. I, I like to try everything. I but, don't want to just say I'm a meat only girl. Does I mean, it hurt I'll try. me? No. I'll go to the other side every now and then. Doesn't hurt me. I mean, you know, other than if you have some potent dressing. You know, I don't know. <laughs> but I mean, it's just like he <laughs> really just doesn't. Why? Why would I? Why do I care if other people eat fucking salad? Eat salad. Just. I, it it doesn't. I mean, I'm not a I'm not a leaf, so you're not gonna you're gonna you're gonna hurt me. Um, so I've always felt that way. Nothing to do with me living in Los Angeles. Now that you know, if anything, Los Angeles has um, you know, I I've I I I've basically gotten over Los Angeles as far as you know being here because I think it's I think it's uh, it has as many um. Problems and 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 you know backwards bullshit as any place does. You're wrong, John. You're wrong. It's, I'm not, dear. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna tell you you're wrong because I feel that you're wrong. Okay. I love LA. I felt like I was able to breathe for the first time when I moved here. I felt like living outside of an open-minded area was really just um, it it squashed your soul. Like it just it didn't make you like open and conscious of what's going on around you. It was just like you lived in this tight little mason jar and it got suffocating. But I think that that has to do with youth because when you're young, you're you're, you're so, you know, your parents and your whole family, they're just over you like that all the time. It's like you just, you don't feel like you have room to breathe. And especially when you're, and when you're younger, you you know, you're less self-sufficient. You can't. You can't. You can't buy your own car, or your own place to live, or anything like that. So you get. It's not entirely true. I'm I lived sa- on my own. I had my own car. I had an, my career. I had a puggle. Like um, I wasn't living under my parents' roof at the time. Yeah, I was still in my early twenties. And but you're where you grew up, though. Yeah. You know? Like, what if you grew up here? Like, I think you would still run into a lot of the same issues if you grew up here, though. You know, because it's still a lot of the same shit that they're just kind of, you know, suffocating. 
I, I, I could be wrong. I probably am. <laughs> I mean, but it's like, you, you just, it gets, um, you know, like, I, I, you know, like I've said, it's like, with me now. How dare you mess up this wall of perfectly hung frames, Madden? The way I look at it now is like, all I, 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 you know, I have, I have a few very distinct goals. Like when I moved here when I was 23, you know, I was like, I need to get away from basically, you know, I need to be Luke Skywalker. I basically needed to go away, join the Alliance, fucking, you know, and 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 take down the Death Star and grow some hair on my nuts, and then basically it become some because it's like if I if I stayed where I was, I was always going to be that that same guy who was you know all the baggage that comes with you know the first twenty some years of your life. It just it just inevitably happens. You know, you see yourself in a different light when you move someplace else. You can sort of start over and reinvent yourself. Or for me as a comic, it was like I got to go do comedy without having to worry about anybody I knew coming to the shows, anything like that. Like I, I basically was out there growing on my own with with nobody to really check in with. And that was that was liberating. But now I'm at the point, you know, I have I have a family. I have very distinctive goals, which are, you know, I, I mean, I, you, you know, we, we support our household by, you know, my, my personal appearances, my road dates. I'll be in Lexington this week. Um, <laughs> the, uh, and then yeah. Chicago and Cincinnati and Cleveland and uh, Syracuse and Albany. I, I knew Lexington, but um, <laughs> but it's like you know, we, I, I you know we uh, we we support the household with those personal appearances. But my ultimate goal is still my uh, animated project, cartoon comic, which it's like I want to make that happen. And uh, you know, and I just got on, you know, I got on uh, Twitch recently. I'm doing that. We're doing the podcast. But it's like we can do this shit from anywhere, you know, with the with the. Uh, with with an internet connection, you can do any of this shit that you want to do as far as being an artist or anything like that from anywhere. So it's like, yeah, the weather's nice out here, but also, you know, this this place might shake off the continent too. You know, you never know. And it's felt like the last couple earthquakes. Has there been two recently? You, yeah, I I, I felt I two like, that like while was, we were sleeping. I thought that one was it because like I remember last night there was a chopper that went over the house like it was real low. And it felt about the same as that earthquake did the other night that you said was an earthquake. I didn't, because I didn't know that was an earthquake. I think because you're up and walking. When yeah, you're in know. bed, you feel them more. Like, because we're in bed, and I'm like, oh, God, do we run? And I'm like, no, I'm in bed. <laughs> like, it's right. too cozy. It's like, oh, I don't want to have to get up and go to the fucking doorway. Yeah. I sleep naked, just not out of anything other than I can't sleep with clothes on. Like, it's not it's not like a sexy <laughs> thing. Like, ooh, well, I'm going to get down to my, you know, yeah, birthday it's, suit it's, and then it's, crawl it's into bed. It's more like I, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. I get too sweaty to uh, to wear anything. Mm, um, sexy, huh? <laughs> just mm. trying to hit on y'all. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So yeah, I've been thinking like lately, I'm like, do I need to put a robe near the bed just so I have something to grab in case my house collapses on me and I need to run away? Like, you know, I, maybe, backup I mean, clothes. You might want, you in might reaching want a distance. You, you might, because after day three or day four of, you know, being <laughs> destitute and homeless, you know, your nudity might get old for everybody, you know, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> including you you be like I can't I can't sit down anywhere it fucking Not hurts happen. I mean I'm leaving streaks <laughs> You know, you never know. <laughs> I am not that kind of girl. She is, though. She Did you short the other day? Don't call her out on it. <laughs> she shorted and then crawled up into her bed. And got okay. up and goes, oh, no, poo-poo. <laughs> Daddy does that all the time. She didn't know there was poop on her butt. Daddy does that all the time. Down. I do it all the time. And then you poo-poo in the bed. Daddy, uh, yeah. I mean, Daddy's done it twice this past it happens. year. I know. Of, I mean, it I'm, hurts. Because I sent your mom pictures. Of uh, I'm not my, gonna look at my it. splattered on your pants. Um, yeah, she won't look at it. I mean, it's like I go to the Once trouble again, you just to send you picture. Be better. I am my 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 pants pooping is, is <laughs> how, getting more. How it's was more your Jackson Pollock? Gluten free, egg free, sugar free birthday cake, John. Oh yeah, that was phenomenal. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. you want some? Di- yeah. It's gluten free. There's a lot left. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I made it so healthy, and then Madden poured Man, five yeah. pounds of sprinkles yeah, on there's top a of lot it. Of, there's, it's like a Lucky Charms cake. Yeah, it's fucking. You want cake? I like it. You, no, like you want cake. cake. You want cake. <laughs> Where are you going? I like it. You want cake. Yeah. What, what, what else kind have, of what kid are you, you who likes cake? And you have an ice cream like dress. Cake. Look at you. Um, you're talking about Switch? Yeah, what, Twitch. We've been playing, what, Friday the 13th and Mortal Kombat, and Mark mm. Ellis was over to play. Yeah, yeah. Um, I had okay, a... people have been asking me, what's your PSN? Hmm? PlayStation what is your... Network. Oh. Oh, PlayStation name, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. I'm like, because well, I post twitch.tv slash John Caprulo, and then people ask, what's your PSN? I'm like, didn't I just post that? My, so I don't know. I my don't know PlayStation Network name is that if that's what you mean uh is stan the boy taylor um it's a what? simpsons reference oh it's there there was the one where homer and ned went to the football game and it's called uh, homer loves flanders and it was uh you know flanders knew the quarterback from the team and it was they called him stan the boy taylor because it's like it just doesn't it's supposed to be stan the man anywhere else but they go stan stan he's our boy if he can't do it no one will this story is so much more interesting now that i found a hulk on your arm yeah i have a a hulk tattoo um (laughs) mainly mainly to call attention to my guns but uh you know (laughs) My daughter and I were in the tattoo shop earlier upstairs, and, uh, <laughs> you know, I have to live up to my end of the bargain. I get a tattoo, too, when she does it. So, like I did with you, we both got a tattoo. So, both got a Madden tattoo. Yeah. On our anniversary. We yeah. did it in each other's handwriting. This is, like, forever ago. Yeah. What, two years? Two, thir- this, two Thursdays ago? Well, well Madden was there. there. Madden was there, so how old was she? When She wasn't... Oh, really? She Madden, was almost, who, she was, she was, across our she arms, was, a, was, was she just under a year old, I guess, when we did that? So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh. Look who just got we back from a, the fair. A guest joining us? Oh, a special oh, guest. Oh, my gosh. I am so honored. Minnie, welcome her. to you the show. Bring, you want her to come up here? Bring her up here. Come on. Come say hi. Come on. Come say hi, Minnie. Bring her up. Here, I'll bring her up. I'll help her. Did you want Daddy to give her Why a bath Why do you not later? trust me? I, I, I was there when you got her. Do you want Daddy to give her a bath? She has, Minnie has crust behind her ears. Yeah, I saw that. So. I was trying to scratch it off. Yeah, yeah she's been really gross. upset over it. Yeah, I was scratching that off earlier. She just laughed when I did it. I want you, Minnie. Yeah. Why don't, why don't you bring Minnie up here? <laughs> and then we'll... um. You know, we'll, we'll, I like playing Twitch with you. I just feel like I'm an outcast in this arena. Like I feel like people who are there playing, that's they love it. They're passionate about, it, and I have so much respect for that. For anything that you're passionate about and you love it, yeah. You don't want outsiders in there, and I feel like such an outsider because it's like I don't. You I'm just feel like a carpet bagger. Like I I'm did jamming that. buttons, like, yeah, not yeah, knowing yeah. if my fucking thing's plugged in or not. Like, I understand not that feeling. It. And I'm just like, hi, let me join your crew. And I'm like, I don't even know have you to... Have you watched me play Friday the 13th? Oh, you're awful. I'm terrible. <laughs> I mean, I can play... Look, I can play one game really well, Madden. And that's on now on, on my iPad, which they haven't even set me up on that yet. I, I've played a, a few times on console, on Twitch. Um, and I've, I'm, I think I'm like two and four. Uh, but... You know, I used to be good on console. I'm just not anymore. But I, that's the only game I ever really kept up with. NBA Live, I used to, but that's been almost ten years. Like I, I'm not. I play games on my iPad now, so I because when I'm traveling and everything. So and when I'm on the toilet for hours on end. But I have other um, big news. I'm high. <laughs> yeah, it seems like the time to bring that up. I guess since uh, <laughs> since there would be an absolute random time where you just. <laughs> Interrupt the uh, the Twitch talk to. Um, <laughs> I went and got my medical marijuana card yesterday. It was so next topic. All right. <laughs> so I it's something that I've like I I don't smoke a lot anymore. I mean I did in high school and college, and then as I got older, I was like going really weird and dark and like just it wasn't right for me. So recently, I've started kind of smoking from one of my 
friend's vape pen and it was just this really light hit that I'm like, I could do this because I still want to be able to function. I don't want to get too in my mind and I can't just like be around eating cookies and watching The Simpsons all day. So. Oh, yeah. Like you would do that ever. Like, you I mean, wish. like if you, you did wish that, I was be, that girl. I was so that'd be so fucking awesome. I mean, oh, I'm I really sorry, I'm, just okay. please just just uh, <laughs> let everything else go to shit. And just watch The Simpsons with me. You want to tell great. that to her? Sorry, yes. honey. Mommy has we're, to sit I'm around sorry, and eat We're gonna watch all cartoons time. all day, every day, and and see how much your kid protests. <laughs> Come on now. So you can get Minion. like um, whoa, in Minion. California, you can go online, and I guess apparently it's like a. 10 minute Skype call and I'm like it's honestly easier for me to get in the car drive somewhere and like pick up the card than me trying to like get on Skype and have a conversation while she yells at me and these three dogs are barking at me and you know he's wanting something so uh, uh, <laughs> wait, wait. I have problems what am I gonna do I'm at like, home. she's on the phone or something. Uh, mama 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 where yes. are you going Madden <laughs> So I drive to this place. It's in Kenoga Park, which is like kind of sketchy. Go upstairs. I mean, it's not a place you want to be. And I'm sitting there by myself. There's no music playing, no TV. It's like eerily quiet. And come on, I've got two stories to tell today. Why is nobody listening to me? She's, there. <laughs> and she's fine. All the doors are locked. Um, <laughs> I'm a high mom. I'm a cool mom. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> we can tell. <laughs> so... so it's there's just one lady like a foreign lady sitting behind a desk and I hand her my ID fill out the paperwork and then this old couple comes in and they're the cutest thing ever and they're arguing with each other over like what paperwork they need to fill out and well she just told me I needed a recommendation and well I don't know my doctor's phone number and address you are because like, you were cu- you were cu- you're calling them cute now. No, they're <laughs> annoying as fuck. You can't <laughs> say, like, old people yesterday. are not adorable. Like, I'm going to get ridiculed now for saying they were annoying as fuck. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, old people. You can be douchebags, too. All right? So, my bad. <laughs> they're arguing with each other. And I finally go back thinking it's, like, an actual doctor's in a doctor's room. And I open the door, and it's just this bald dude on Skype. And he asks me, like, two minutes of, like, questions of, like, what's wrong? And I'm like, I have anxiety and he was like okay and I walked out and I got a card and I went to the dispensary and I walk in there's like these two hot guys that I'm like oh this is gonna be my new hobby um and they're and they're like telling me different things and I'm like you know I'm I'm trying to like be normal but I can't just like be chill that's why I need weed and so I'm like I can hear myself being really obnoxious and I just kept on going cool 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 you do cool. put too many syllables <laughs> in the word cool I mean, I'm it's like, cool. Shut up. Shut up. It's You're still cool. not cool for saying cool. And they're, I'm like telling them, I don't want to get too high. I just want like a relaxed kind of like chillness, but I still need to be up and like doing things. And so he's like, you know, introducing me to different things. And then like all of a sudden I get too excited. And I'm like, give me the gummies. Give me the cookies. Give me the joints. <laughs> like, I think I ordered everything. You, you became a there. Starburst commercial? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it was What's so the, fun. I mean, first of all, the, the guy on Skype, um, that was so you were in the waiting room for a while right just waiting basically for him for his like, head to arrive yeah because her doctor is max headroom now <laughs> <laughs> you get that <laughs> yeah you don't no nope. i knew it i knew it see yeah all right well um it's it was a thing in the 80s um the uh but yeah i don't think he was a doctor I don't know. Uh, well, I mean, obviously, you didn't check a lot of credentials. I mean, no. he was a uh, he was he was a um, a a drug dealer by a satellite. Is what he was. <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah, he he wasn't even there. Um, which is, uh, I'm yeah. I mean, good for him. But see, you went and got the card. I didn't realize you. You didn't realize that like the laws had been changed and that you could. By the first of the year, you don't even need a card. You can just go in. Which I didn't even realize it was that long until, yeah. You have to pay tax. You have to pay tax? Oh, see, I knew what I was doing. Oh, it was worth that trip yesterday, <laughs> really? <laughs> For it the was sales an experience. Tax. I'm always. The next staff will have sales tax. Uh, and it won't be as strong as the. It won't be as strong. Oh, it's not as strong. So it, is if it? If you, it'll be like a weaker, yeah. It'll be like a more just chill. Okay. Hmm. I could be wrong on that, but for sure it's going to have to set. I've never the Canadian had. knows. <laughs> I've never, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> I've never had a good weed experience, really. I just, 
it's always, yeah, I never chill. And I, I never... Like, I had a one roommate. He was like going to be a doctor or something. I wonder what's going on with him now. But he used to melt weed into butter and then make like Rice Krispie treats and brownies uh, and stuff. Like, oh, there was a weekend. Um, my boyfriend at the time was like the president of this fraternity. And so they had this giant ski chalet in West Virginia that we'd go to for their formal or whatever. And I didn't eat anything except for weed brownies for three days straight. I would wake up, eat weed brownies, and pass back out into a hot tub. And I don't know how I. Yeah, it was. I don't know how you graduated. Is what I. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I did. Mm. <laughs> There's a diploma well, somewhere, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. I. I. I just. Anytime yeah, weed, like eating weed, it's always. I did that. Because I mean, I've gone through a few spells in my life where it's like I've tried, like like I've made an effort with weed. Like to go, I'm gonna, <laughs> like people go to the gym, you know, like I'm like, I'm going to apply myself and get high and enjoy this shit. <laughs> Shut up, Bumpuses! I need something. Barney! Weed. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Barney! Hi, Bob Dawson, we love you. And yeah. your girls and Charlie. Bob oh, Dawson hi, got Bob. a new puppy. Um, the, uh, <laughs> I, uh, um, yeah, weed is like, I, I, I got, I remember I got edibles one, seriously, I'm trying to talk about eating weed. <laughs> I got edibles once and I remember I asked for Rice Krispie Treats or whatever, and it's the worst, it's, it's, I mean, not only does it, is it such a scary high because it's like, it doesn't hit you until later, so you eat too much. Because you're like, I'm not high. I'm not high. I'm not high. Fuck. I'm so high, and it's never going to go away. Not until I, yeah, I mean, like, I, like, I, it, like, I felt like it was coming out of my pores, and it was just, like, so, I, I can't stand the taste or smell of weed. So it's just, like, it was, like, it was, like, being on Fear Factor, except for the douchebag host. And, uh, um, yeah, I was eating, like, a, it was, like, a Fruit Loops thing that somebody made, like, almost like a Rice Krispie Treat, except somebody glued Fruit Loops together with fucking weed butter. Oh, God, that, just, that taste just doesn't leave. It's, like, and, like I said, it's, like, Fear Factor where you just eat, I mean, it's just, like, you know, like, I'm eating fucking buffalo testicles or something. I'm like, <laughs> Yeah, come on, I'm gonna get fifty grand. Oh, uh, 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 and there was, there was yeah, right. That's all. That's what the prize was. Was yeah, was was actually like staying in the house for three days and going. I can't, I can't. No, I can't drive a car. No, I, I shouldn't drive a car. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I've never been. I and I like I said. I wish. I wish I could get the experience of most people who are. Who like most people who smoke weed at all? Generally, they like it. You know, I mean, I, I remember I giggled. I remember I like it. I like to giggle. So it's like <laughs> if I if I got there were a few times where I caught like a nice you know I smoked some weed and I I watched uh, like you know The Simpsons or you know you yeah you know, some sort of comedy and it was funny. But it's like that was more that was that was pretty infrequent. You know, it was usually I would. Get high and I go, oh my God, what'd you do with your life? <laughs> I like sit there and I get really negatively introspective and start going, oh no, oh God, wait, you tell jokes for a living? What kind of fucking jackass does that? <laughs> and we'll be doing that in Lexington and Cincinnati and Chicago and Cleveland and Syracuse and Albany and West Palm Beach and Kansas City. Sober and without the uh, fussing child. So imagine how. Amusing that'll be. Um, what else? I want some biddy. I want some biddy. I want some biddy. It's a complete sentence, but I want some biddy. I'm sorry. I don't mean to make funny. Sweetheart. All right. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Uh, there, we shot oh, a... Oh, Twitch. We didn't really cover Twitch. But oh, I'm sorry. You, you I had more me. important things to talk about. Yeah. And you just... We shot a Caplet on Thursday. over here had to interrupt me, so... I, uh, <laughs> um, the... Uh, <laughs> see? References. Uh, <laughs> the... Yeah. Twitch, it's it, I, I I actually I think I talked about it a little before 
on a couple, th- you know, whether it's caplets or might have been this, I'm not sure, but uh, a representative from a, a, uh, an esports team called Fade to Karma um, came along they, when they saw the, uh, the cartoon comic trailer. Um, and, you know, he said that, you know, he'd, he could help with, uh, you know, maybe doing some sort of crowdfunding venture or something like that, which we're still considering maybe, but, um, but we, he, uh, they, they just, they asked me if I had ever done Twitch and I remember seeing Twitch on, um, you know, when I got my PS4, but I just thought I wouldn't have the initiative to set up all the shit that, you know, like is up in my office now. I mean, I got green screens, I got studio lights, I got it's fucking, uh, you know, I mean, a webcam, there's microphone. There's a trainer stretching you and a coach. There's, there's not. I, I should have that, but uh, they, they didn't chip in for that. Um, there's, uh, but it, it's, it really is a professional setup to make it look really cool. Like basically, it's, you know, I'm just sitting in the corner and the game's going on around me. And I mean, I, uh, they asked me if I ever thought about doing it, and I, I, you know, I started playing like. You know, it was almost like me playing a game that I'm good at. Like Madden is almost, unless she's there to heckle me or something like that. It's like it's just not going to so be that entertaining. So you do like me heckling so, you? I, I, to a degree. I mean, <laughs> there there is a point when you know I I start to cry and you don't <laughs> care. But um, it, it's 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 uh you know it's a I I've I've gotten into. It. I might stream again tonight, but I'm not sure. I I gotta see what shakes out with time but um i i like the idea of you know being able to 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 you know reach a whole some new audience some same audience but you know it's i think it's entertaining it's like this with with a game going on (laughs) so it's uh it's kind of cool and um i'm really uh it's um i'm flattered that they invited me to come do it and we're actually they're editing down a, a video of me uh, and my Friday the 13th exploits because that, that seemed to be that was a fun one for me because I love making fun of those movies um, and and just I love making fun of mass murder for some reason so <laughs> it's, just, it's just such a fertile ground for comedy um, <laughs> <laughs> so I uh, yeah I just I, 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 I'm going to be doing that um, more and more frequently here coming up in the future and uh, you know Hopefully, at the same time, um, get uh, yeah, you know, get we gotta get cartoon comic launched. We gotta get it. We gotta get this fucker moving. I'm also I also wrote a comic book version of uh, cartoon comic, which uh, we're hoping to at least um, produce the the one that I did wrote right in that uh, format um, to get us started, and you know, just keep interest going uh, and and building for that. Um, for that title, so that you know, once once the actual show is uh, up and running, you know, we'll, ha- we'll have more of an audience for it. So that's we just shot all good. A uh, Caplet's what fifty three or something like that. So that'll be on YouTube dot com, John Caprillo Comedy, in the next couple of days, and then John Caprillo dot com for upcoming tour date tickets. Fifty three might be a little high. <laughs> it's forty three. Forty three. Yeah. Maybe this is 53 or 54. One of them's in the 50s and one of them's in the 60s. Okay. Or 40s and 50. Fuck numbers. I think you've um, had enough juice. <laughs> I think you've had a little too uh, much. Yeah, juice. subscribe to YouTube and blah, blah, blah. Madden's been so obsessed with YouTube kids shows that she's there's this like cute little Asian lady on there that goes, Bye, keys. Thanks for watching. And so, you want to do it? You want to go do Bye, you kids? You want to say thanks Bye, kids? Thanks for watching. You want to come up and do it? Come on. Come on. Bye, kids. Thanks for watching. Come on. Here, here, here. <laughs> Do it on the microphone. Come here. Do it on here. Come here. Okay. All right. Ready for the big finale? Here we go. Here, get get up on your center microphone. Come on. Here, Close the show out. On this one. And. Bye, kids. You're watching. Bye. Never been more proud in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Wait, do we do we have questions or something we wanna I mean do, was there anything uh, from the online? Uh, 
Leopold said you guys should toke up on the show. That was Raphael <laughs> Dean Wilson. I get freaked out. Yeah, sorry. I, I know you mean well. On the show, that would. He'd be like curled up, rocking back and forth. Yeah, right. Yeah, you don't want to see the me rabbits here. are attacking like, shut up, me. Shut up, shut up! Don't talk. Don't say a word. All right, because they'll come and get us. Madden woke up this morning and goes, "I'm driving. I'm driving in my car." And I'm like, "Okay, in my red car." Like, what kind of dream are you having? <laughs> yeah, but any, is there any with with anything pressing? Should come we just come on? We did an adorable we, closeout. We did Why have an adorable closeout. I know. I just didn't. want... <laughs> very true very true. thank you you're probably high too <laughs> what are you doing boo, boo. come on do your thanks kids hey, bye She's kids like, thanks for watching we again. closed it we're done do it one more time yeah. let's do it one more time you like you like to take more takes so you, uh, you want to get She does have perfect. this thing where she does scenes. She says, and action. And then she does Bye, scenes. Gigi. Go wash on the bye. <laughs> and then she closes it out. Oh, now you can close out with me talking, but you can't close out. Bye, kids. Thanks for watching. <laughs> bye. Bye, kids. Thanks for watching. Bye. You ruined that line. <laughs>